of this match. There are no ties. And remember, we have the potential for multiple super overs in case there is a tie. So USA have elected to go. It looks like with Andreas, the super over will be ended short of the six balls. And they can also choose which end it is bowled from. So obviously Nepal with the two right-handers. Aaron Jones. And a big reason why was because they wanted a left-right combo. If that side, if you have a left-hander in there and Harmeet Singh, that neutralizes that in a big way for Nepal. I don't agree with this. Kami will bowl to Shaihan Jahangir. Get those graphics corrected. We've got House on strike in them, but it's a single to start with. As Anil Saad is the fielding. Remarkably, Peter... This isn't the first Tudi I that ended up as a tie. There was no super over. We're going to have a victor either way, even if it's going to... First tie match between these two sides. Hit away into the leg side. That's a good result for Nepal. Only a single. Depender Singh Ari, the fielder. I seem to remember you were a little bit under the weather on that tie match. It was Every second, two off, two balls. Our graphic's just a tiny bit incorrect. Balls him! Straight through! And listen to that, is holding his nerve at the death. And Nepal are sensing a win there. It's not a slight against Shayan Jahangir. I just felt like they needed a left-hand, right-hand combo to negate the uh, Nepal is bowling to. And Sobokami takes the pace of the ball. Very clever, slower ball. Feast and a treat we've been given here on a Saturday night in Texas. An atmosphere. Uh, on his 30th birthday, Aaron Jones has three balls to work with. And he heaves it into the leg side. Dependra Singh Iri is out there! Over. They have only two on the board. And Sampal Kami is the hero for... By the veteran. He tried to clear that huge boundary. And again, this is why I feel like they should have had Harmeet Singh in there. Having the right-handers try and clear that huge 82-yard boundary is just asking for trouble. One of Nepal's very best. And with all those concerns and worries. Need somebody who could blast out the stumps. So I'm not KC, they are thick as thieves. They are the best of pals. They do everything to... At the tail end of the chase. And again here, it was essentially a losing tie. USA was in command. Heading into the final over the feet of the Nepal batters. But they're not going with him. They're going to go with Sarabna Chavalkar again. I, I don't know if I agree with USA management obviously feels differently. Well, what's the approach, I suppose, fascinatingly for the two Nepali batters that have been selected? Not sure what he was thinking, trying to heave a six with two overs to go. Here we go. It's three to win, six balls to do it. And it's a dot. Oh, no, it's not. It's a misfield. Aaron Jones, it slipped through as a forget. Out not once, but twice, and now... Too much. He shouldn't be in this situation. It shouldn't come down to needing to the job done. Well, it was regulation, being honest, Peter. He didn't have to sprint a yard. He was standing at a silly mid-on. It just burst through his fingers. It's probably... The two fielders outside the ring, and they're hoping for a brain fade from Kushal Bertel to give a boundary catch. Everyone else in saving a single. It's two to win. And he whips it elegantly out to the leg side. Any single from here will do. And the Nepal. No is the call. Well, the cardiac kids, they're known for their dramas. Remaining. Any run will do. USA need two wickets from one of their heroes of the World Cup, Sarah of Netravalker, or three miraculous dots. And Powell guides it away and gets the same assailable 2-0 series lead. Much to the delight of the thousands of fans who've packed this ground. But thanks to the heroics of Sampal Kami, allied with Kushal Bertel's return to form. A first 50-plus score in international cricket. Over. They've guided Nepal to a famous victory on the most sensational. Margin, Lenny. <laughs> they always take it down to the final ball, the final run. In this case, the final <laughs> extra over just happened. This is almost, in some way, shades of what happened in the Netherlands, where they had winning positions and then inexplicably shot themselves in the foot on numerous occasions and just froze, couldn't get across the line. And Andre's house in particular, Peter, he looks shell-shocked, doesn't he? And you can understand why the match was literally in his hands. It's harsh to criticise the man who was the highest run scorer of the chase. But even just...